Hey guys, welcome back to the Keaton Knife Shop. Now, when it comes to making custom knives, a symmetrical grind is extremely important. You want your bevels to be the same on both sides. Now, there is a simple yet crucial tool that will help you do that, and it is called the centerline scribe. And today, we're going to be making one coming up. So, symmetrical bevels are extremely important on any knife. If you have your edge off to one side or the other, you can not only see it visually, but you can probably feel it when you're cutting because the blade will push to one side. And this is undesirable for any custom knife maker. So, in order to avoid this, we will use a center line scribe to mark the center of the edge before we start grinding. And this will allow us to have a target to grind to. And we will grind to that center line so that our edge goes through the center of the blade. The center line scribe that you're seeing in the videos that I've had put out to this point uh, is an older center line scribe that my father made me in 2006 and it's still going strong. But today we're going to make one from scratch so that you can have a center line scribe in your shop. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using a piece of brass for our base and then a stainless steel rod for our pillar. But just know that you can use a piece of stainless instead of brass here and it wouldn't make that big of a difference or even aluminum. Uh, so after we get it cut out, I'm going to clean them up on the belt sander and then we're going to mark out and drill out our hole in the piece of brass to accept this stainless pillar. I'll also make sure to put a link in the description for the CAD drawings uh, of my specific centerline scribe just to give you an idea of some dimensions. But mine is 3 quarters of an inch wide, 1.7 inches long, and 5 sixteenths of an inch thick. Actually, it's a little more than 5 sixteenths of an inch thick. The rod that I'll be using is 5 sixteenths. I'm just marking and punching where I'll be drilling my holes. I had some 4 millimeter screws lying around from an old uh, foreign appliance. Uh, you can also use an eighth of an inch uh, set screws or, or something close to it. But this is just what I had lying around. So the first step is I'm drilling a sixteenth of an inch hole uh, perpendicular to our pillar. That's where our uh, scriber is going to be. And then I went ahead and drilled uh, the appropriate drill size to tap four millimeter screws uh, perpendicular to our, our scribing uh, bit. So that's going to be a set screw that holds in our scribe. I then drilled a five sixteenths hole into our piece of brass so that the pillar uh, can be inserted. And then after that, I'll be drilling the set screw hole and tapping this hole as well to four millimeters. Hey y'all, I'm gonna cut in really quick here. If you're liking this video, go ahead and hit that like button below. And if you wanna see sweet videos like this one and maybe some of these, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and they'll pop up in your feed in the future. All right, let's get back to it. And we're back to tapping our four millimeter hole here. We're gonna be using a 16th of an inch drill bit as our scribe. It does not cut well, FYI, these are very hard, so I used a set of bolt cutters. And then I sharpened it to a point on my belt sander, being very careful not to overheat it and ruin its temper. We're gonna go into our assembly First we put the pillar in and then uh, tighten up that set screw to hold the pillar in tight. We put in our scriber and then tighten up that set screw. This can be slightly precarious. It may take you a while and some test pieces in order to get the scribe set up exactly where you want it, depending on the thickness of stock you'll be using. For me, I'm using eighth of an inch stock on most of my knives so that I need to get this set up at about half of that. So this is an example of it uh, being used. You can either set it up to just have one center line or two parallel center lines uh, that are slightly spaced from each other in the center of your piece. Uh, this depends on how thick of an edge you like to grind to. I generally like to do this two center line option. So for only a few hours worth of work, you can have yourself a tool that should allow you to grind symmetrical bevels for the rest of your knife making career. So it's a really simple tool to make. 
just one afternoon with your drill press and you'll have a great tool. Hey guys, I hope you all really liked that tutorial. If you're looking to get into custom knife making, uh, building your own tools is a must. So I'd suggest watching this video next on how to make a knife vise. I use a knife vise in every one of the knives that I build and I couldn't see myself living without it at this point. So that wraps up this video and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.